it has been a long, rough week. What do you do when it's been a rough week? You go to Repticon. <laughs> Hello Tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and you're watching Tarantula Haven. I know I told you on my last video that I was going to have a special guest for last week. However, um, he wasn't able to make it, he canceled on me. So I found myself lacking material and I just didn't post a video. But fortunately this weekend there is a Repticon going on in Jacksonville and I was able to attend today. Um, I had a little money that I'd saved up and uh, I was just kind of going to see what I could find. I really wasn't expecting to buy anything. I just kind of went to look and um, I, I didn't have anything on my list. It wasn't that I was searching for something. Um, I just wanted to see what I could possibly find. Fortunately for me, my guy that I usually buy from, Mike from Exotic Kingdom, was there and he was there last time as well. He's the one I bought from last time. So um, he pulled through for me this time. He had a lot of cool stuff and I found myself wishing I had more money, but I did make some pickups. I did get a, a few good things and I'd like to share those with you today. Okay, so I'm at the uh, Jacksonville Repticon. It's being held at the Shrine uh, Auditorium again. And uh, I came here about six months ago. I bought a um, Brachypelma Epicureanum and I bought some um, Gramostola um, poker piece. So I really don't know what I'm getting today. I'm just coming to look and see. Hopefully um, Mike, the uh, vendor from um, Oh gosh, I forget the name of his uh, of his shop. I'll mention it later, but um, hopefully he'll be here again, and I might pick up some stuff from him. But I want to see if they have anything different. There weren't that many vendors last time, so hopefully things have picked up. We'll see. Thank you. 
a great time at Repticon. Um, I kind of did things a little bit different. I ended up shooting with my cell phone instead of my GoPro. I'm terrible with my GoPro because it doesn't have a screen on it. It's the Hero 3 Plus, I think. And um, I never know what I'm shooting and how fast I'm panning and all that kind of stuff. So usually when I get back, I always find that I, I hate the video that I take at these Repticon, at these shows. So um, when I upgraded my iPhone to the iOS 12, it kind of killed my, um, my iPhone 6S, which I guess was a good thing for me because I ended up upgrading to the 10S and um, it shoots in, um, in 4K. So I decided I was gonna shoot with my phone and see how that video turned out. And I haven't seen it yet, I'm still putting this together. So um, I, I'm looking forward to looking at that footage. But um, I had, like I said, I had a good time at Repticon. I kinda needed it. Um, it, it, I said earlier it was a rough week and it has been um, earlier in the week. My dog passed away and it was a, a, a tragic event. It wasn't uh, one of these, you know, we woke up and he was gone. Or, or even having to put them down it was worse than that and I don't want to get all into it because I'll get emotional but a um, little bit of retail therapy helps you know but um, another reason why it was such a good experience was because I actually got to talk to Mike of Exotic Kingdom and uh, he's been selling me tarantulas for years now so to the point where he sees me and he knows me so um, it was a thing where I, I don't really talk to him that much because I don't like to bother him because he's selling stuff and he's working so I know he wants to keep his mind on what he's doing but I did get to ask him a few questions about the hobby and how he felt about it and what was happening with the whole thing and uh, you know how things are here in Florida as opposed to say up north and and if he feels like there's more interest there than here um, so you know it was interesting to find out his perspective from a vendor's point of view uh, unfortunately you know I didn't have the courage to ask him if I could interview him on, on video and uh, I, I knew that he's working so I don't like to bother people when they're doing that because I know that's taking their mind off of what they're supposed to be doing so um, anyway that was just a cool experience for me and it's nothing really I can share for you or with you but um, I can share what I picked up today and I was pretty happy with what he had in fact I was so happy because he had so much stuff that I wanted um, and that I couldn't make a decision but I finally did come up with something and I came home with a few uh, new additions to my collection okay so what did I get let's take a look at pickup number one and this is the Ephibopus Wadaman and I've heard it pronounced Udaman but I don't know which one is correct um, but I do know that this is known commonly known as the emerald skeleton tarantula so <clears throat> when I first saw it I thought that maybe it was an emerald bustum because I saw the red legs on it and um, when he told me that it was the emerald skeleton I got a little bit excited because um, I've seen them uh, in pictures and I've seen them at you know online at different vendors but um, I never thought I'd see one at one of our Repticons because they usually don't have kind of you know exotic species they usually have your common stuff that you usually that you see most of the time so um, yeah I got a little bit excited about this and the price was pretty good so I decided to pick one up and uh, let me show them to you here real quick all right so this is oh the camera's falling down here Okay, so this is Ephibopus Waterman, and it's already got a little bit of green showing on there. It's an iridescent green. I don't know if you can see that yet, and especially if I don't have it on the camera there, but here we go. All right, so I'm going to get them transferred over. Maybe we can get a better look at them. And normally I pick up usually two or more of the same species, but with this guy, um, I wanted him, but I didn't want him as bad as I wanted some other species that he had. So I only picked up one because I ended up running out of money. All right, so there we go. And uh, let me see if I can show him to you there in a better light. And I don't know if you can see the green on him, but I can see a little bit of iridescent green on his abdomen there. Very 
cool. All right, let's get you home. Oh, now he doesn't want to go in. And these guys are burrowers, so I'm starting them out in this small box, this pixie box, but I'll probably end up transferring them to a larger box when it gets some size on them. But for right now, I'm going to put them in the pixie box because he's still tiny. All right, so that was pickup number one. All right, so pickups number two and three. And this was the um, Orphanaceous Philippinus or Philippinus, if you say it like Tom Moran. Um, I don't know which one is correct, but um, Philippinus kind of sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I picked up two of these. And uh, as far as I know, these guys are real feisty and they are quick to bolt so I better be careful and I better have my catch cut ready because I don't want to be chasing them all around the room. So anyway, let's go ahead and get those transferred over and hopefully things will go well. Let's put this here. There we go, get the cover off of that. And let's open this up. And I've wanted these for a while because I love the beautiful orange color. Um, I was actually thinking maybe I would finally break down and buy an OBT today, but um, these guys won out. So I did not buy an OBT. All right, so let's see if we can get him to appear for us. All right, and he is far away. Um, this is an old world species. And like I said, they're very fast and very feisty. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. All right, hold on. Okay, we got him back. And uh, he didn't give me too much of a chase, but yeah, I still had to chase him. So there he is, there he or she is. Hopefully it's a she. And let's see if I can get it in there without it running out again. Keep that catch cup handy. And I think I'm going to put this lid on here like that. Let's slide this out first. Come on. There we go. Okay, so he's in there. And I'm going to lift this slightly and hopefully it won't take off. still there it is and it's not quite orangey yet it's more of a brown color but it will definitely pick up a nice bright orange um, they call them the the tangerine the Philippine tangerine tarantula all right so putting him up Philippine tangerine number two Let's see if we can do this a little bit better this time. All right, there he is, right there. And yeah, he's getting ready to bolt. Let me see if I can use the catch cup method. Go up, go up. There we go. Oh. Come on, little guy. All right, stay there. Boom, got him. Move you back, and he is right down there. There we go. All right, so 
So that went a little bit better. Philippine tangerine. These next two are just as crazy. Um, these are known as the Thailand Black. It is Cereo Pagopus Minax. And um, again, this is an old world species. They do burrow and um, they are very fast and very feisty as well. So again, I gotta be real careful with them. Hopefully I've learned my lesson and I'll be able to do this a little bit better than I did the other two. All right, so let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this, these guys are already kind of bolting around. So I want to see if I can show them to you first without them taking off. And they're pretty good Webers as you can see there. And it is mostly uh, brownish black right now. And uh, they pretty much keep that black color. They do have a little bit of striping on their abdomen, but um, for the most part they are kind of a velvety black when they get bigger. So I think I'm going to use the catch cut method here just to make sure they don't run off because they are pretty quick. All right, put that there. Take my little catch cut. There we go. And hopefully I can get it to climb up the side a little bit. Come on. Nope, oh, it doesn't want to do that. So I may have to stick the card, I can't do that. Yeah, this is not going so well. Come on. Do I dare try? walking him over. I don't think he's going to sit for it. I don't think he's just going to take right off. So we will see. Goes that way, buddy. There you go. Hey, success. All right, let's see if we can do this without spooking him. And there it is, the Thailand Black. Put the lid on that. All right, and last but not least, the other Thailand Black. So, I don't know, let me see. I'll try the catch cup. If it doesn't work, then we'll walk it over. So there it is. Looking pretty good too. All right, let's see what we can do. Catch cut first. Can I get you to go up the side? Come on. No, his first instinct is to go down. Oh, we got this one up the side. That's good. Okay, now I can take the card and slide it under. And we got him in there. And I can just transfer it over, just like that. And I'll be ready with the lid. Now we get it to go down. So there you go. Come on, buddy. All the way down. There you go. All right. And that worked well too. So 
there it is. It found itself a nice little hole there. So I guess it feels secure there and it didn't run much further, so that's good. All right, now I can put the lid on and I feel better about it already. <laughs> All right, two successful transfers of very crazy species. That concludes my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I am still going to try to get my friend to come in. It's something that he wanted to do. I don't know if he wanted to do it on camera, but I think it would make for some very interesting material. So I'm not gonna make any promises on that. I'm still gonna try to see if he will come in and do that for me or do that with me here and um, We'll, we'll see what happens, but like I said, I'm not going to make any promises. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then I'll just move on and have material ready for whatever the situation may be. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, then I do have a Redbubble store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. I'll post a link down below. Any of the proceeds that come from my Redbubble store will go directly to help grow and support this channel. Until next time. Keep loving them tarantulas.